Hello, everypony. Let's go with Turnabout Storm Part 3. As you know, Part 3 is split up into two parts. In Part 2 commentary, I said Part A and Part B. It's not exactly laid out that way. It's actually Part 3 Phoenix and Part 3 Twilight. Now, Part 3 Phoenix was posted before Part 3 Twilight, but the Twilight side of it is actually the one that you were supposed to see first according to the description in the video so i'm doing it in that order i'm doing twilight first so this is turnabout storm part three of four twilight all right now again before we start i'm going to do a recap because it's been quite a while since i recorded my last commentaries and it's been quite a while since I've seen the videos again so let me recap a quick recap on part one and a slightly larger recap on part two so part one Twilight summons Phoenix to be Rainbow Dash's defense attorney she tells him that it was a complete accident, that she meant to summon the best defense attorney in Equestria, but she accidentally summoned the best defense attorney, period, which happened to be Phoenix. Now, we know that that isn't true. She's lying. She knew who Phoenix was before he introduced himself. And he was like, how did you know my name? She said it was a quick identification spell, but we could tell by her mannerisms that that's a complete flat-out lie. Also, she slipped up a couple of other times, telling Phoenix the badge, his equestrian attorney badge, was prepared for him by the princess. And he said, wait, if I, summoning here, if summoning me here was an accident, how could the princess have time to prepare a badge for me? And she's like, oh, no, uh, actually what I meant was that Spike prepared it before we left. And he says, you mean your assistant Spike prepared it in 20 minutes? I find that hard to believe. And she says, yeah, well, never mind that. So, there's another thing. Plus, later on, she happened to mention that she was glad she chose Phoenix to be Rainbow Dash's lawyer. Phoenix thought in his mind, chose me. I thought it was all an accident. So, we know for sure that Phoenix is there on purpose. Whether Twilight chose him, or whether Princess Celestia chose him. I'm thinking Princess Celestia chose him. So that's something that's still unclear. We don't know why. Another thing, Rainbow Dash. She lied about why she was near the scene of the crime. She's obviously hiding something. We don't know what that is. Some other things that don't really have any conclusion yet is... The evidence that they found at the crime scene, they found a burnt piece of metal lying near the body. It was all charred up and burnt. They also found a long imprint of something in the ground near the body, an imprint of something long. By the way, the body, as you know, was found in a patch of burnt ground. So, body's there. The ground is burnt. There's a piece of metal burnt next to him. Next to Ace. And there's an imprint in the ground of something long. Also, they found a brown feather in a tree near the crime scene. It was a very large feather, much too large to be that of any local bird or pony. And that's where we pick up into part two. Now here's the recap of part two, things that are not cleared up yet. In the beginning of part two, Phoenix's Magatama got mixed up in the evidence, and Twilight, I am assuming she used her magic to pick it up, picked it up and gave it to Phoenix, but when she did, it flashed a bright flash of light. And no one knew what it was, and Phoenix was like, yeah, wow, it hasn't done that before. Twilight said that it felt mystical. Phoenix then said to himself, wow, I hope it still works. 
So, obviously, Twilight's magic reacted with the magic in the Makatama. I'm not exactly sure what that means, what's going to happen. We'll find out. Now, the evidence. We know from the autopsy that Ace was electrocuted to death. Also, there's a burn mark in the back of his neck. Now, at first I thought that he was electrocuted in the back of his neck, but no. Apparently, that's extra. He was electrocuted and there's a burn mark on the back of his neck. So he was burnt and electrocuted. There was a storm cloud directly above the body. Which, according to Cloud Ballistics, fired exactly three bolts of lightning. The first one, being activated by a Pegasus, fired directly below itself at 8.40, which is the time of death of the victim. The second one struck at 8.50. They couldn't figure out where it touched down. And the third lightning bolt was at 11.35, and it hit a nearby tree. Now the body was found directly under the storm cloud, and the time of death is the same as the first lightning strike. And as we learned, the first lightning bolt always strikes directly below the cloud. So it seems very much that he was struck by lightning. But where did the burn come from? According to Trixie, the police received a very vague, anonymous tip before the crime. They didn't take it seriously, though. Trixie said that if you saw who gave the tip, that you wouldn't take them seriously either. The reason that Rainbow Dash is a suspect was that she was flying nearby at the scene of the crime. Also, Ace Swift was wearing a lightning-proof suit. It has a couple of vulnerable points to it, though. One being in the back of the neck, where he's burnt. It isn't possible for lightning to randomly strike a Pegasus wearing a lightning-proof suit, but if the lightning is being aimed by a Pegasus firing it, it could be aimed with precision and striking one of the exposed parts, which casts suspicion on Rainbow Dash. Everyone thinks that Rainbow Dash shot him with the lightning. Then, Trixie called the first witness, Apple Bloom. Apple Bloom states that she was in the forest helping Zakora brew some potions. And when she left, she got out of the forest at 9 o'clock. Then, she amended her testimony, saying that she bumped into something alive on her way out. And she knew it was alive because it had fur and it was breathing heavy. And immediately after she bumped into it, there was a flash of light, and as soon as she could open her eyes, she was outside of the forest at 9 o'clock. We knew it was 9 o'clock because it takes exactly 10 minutes to get home, and she got home at 9.10. Applejack confirmed it. So, she states... Oh, wait, I'm sorry, I screwed that up. She states that at 8.40, she heard lightning and saw it, of course. She heard and saw the first lightning bolt. She got scared. It scared her. And she ran off the path in fright. And then she bumped into the thing that was alive and breathing heavy. And when she did, there was another flash of light. But she didn't hear any thunder. I mean, she didn't hear the lightning. And that happened at 9 o'clock. Now there's a time inconsistency here. According to the cloud ballistics, the second flash of lightning was at 8.50, yet she saw the flash at 9 o'clock. And she was outside of the forest at 9. And then she went home. So, why didn't she see or hear the second bolt at 8.50? Well, Trixie deduced that the reason was because what she ran into was probably something like a giant Illuma bear. She bumped into it, and it made a flash of light. That's why she didn't hear any sound. So, that's what that was. That explains the time inconsistency. But, why didn't she hear the second bolt at 8.50? Well, Trixie deduced again that perhaps she was too far away. And the sound could not reach that far. And neither could the brightness of the light. So that explains that. 
Trixie then brings forward more evidence that Rainbow Dash was scheduled to make several lightning storms on the eastern end of town at 3 o'clock. And there was a missing cloud report at 4 o'clock that said that a storm cloud missing at 4 o'clock from the eastern end of town. And that same storm cloud was found at the scene of the crime with Rainbow Dash's hoof markings on it. So it is possible for someone to wipe a cloud of hoof marks. But it seems that Rainbow Dash took the cloud at four and brought it to the Everfree Forest, knowing that a Swift would be there. In other words, it was premeditated. Plus, Trixie says that they found cyan-colored feathers scattered around the crime scene. Apparently, that's supposed to be Rainbow Dash's feathers, but as I said before, Rainbow Dash is sky blue. She's not cyan. But we'll humor the uh, the maker of the video and let's say that Rainbow Dash is cyan. Or, you know what? No. The feathers were, were blue. Okay? Let's say that. The video says that Rainbow Dash is cyan and that the feathers were cyan, but that's they're not cyan. They're blue. So the most important thing is that they were the same color as Rainbow Dash. So, yeah, it's pretty airtight. It seems that uh, Rainbow Dash did it. And then Trixie just decides to pull out more evidence. Pictures of Rainbow Dash doing something extremely embarrassing. I have no clue what that could be. Well, I do have a clue. I wish I knew for sure. I wish I could see the pictures. But as I said before, I, the only thing I can think of is, is some kind of pictures that are sexually suggestive in nature. Anyway, that's completely irrelevant. Trixie seems to only have brought that out to humiliate Fluttershy, but they were in the bag being carried by Ace Swift, so there is a reason that it's there. Why would Ace Swift be carrying that? That puts a motive on Fluttershy, a double motive. Obviously Fluttershy knew what the pictures were, before they were presented, because she begged Trixie not to show them. So Rainbow Dash knew the pictures. She might have known that Ace Swift had them. So maybe she went to kill him to get the pictures back. So there's two motives. The other one being to uh, wipe out her competition. Ace Swift, as you know, has never lost a single race. Okay? And then she brings another witness, Fluttershy. Fluttershy states, states that she saw Rainbow Dash leaving the forest in a hurry. Fluttershy said that she did hear lightning at 8.40, which matches up with the time of death. And when she looked, she saw Rainbow Dash fleeing. But she did hear the first lightning, which we can conclude that if Fluttershy, being completely outside of the Everfree Forest, can hear the lightning, then Apple Bloom should have been able to hear, hear the second lightning as well. But Fluttershy obviously is not too far to hear the first lightning. So she shouldn't be too far to hear the second lightning because it came out of the same cloud, which has not moved. But fact of the matter is, Fluttershy didn't hear it either. No pony heard the second lightning, even though they were both within range of it. Now, this brings another hole. Fluttershy said she didn't see anything or anyone come out of the forest after Rainbow Dash, which means she didn't see Apple Bloom come out of the forest, though she was watching until the police arrived at 10.30. Apple Bloom said that she got out of the forest at nine, and we know that the only way out of the forest is through the entrance. But Fluttershy was watching, and she didn't see anything come out. So, someone is lying, whether it's Apple Bloom or Fluttershy. So, we have a lot of holes in the story, one of them being the second lightning bolt. It doesn't even seem to exist. Which Trixie points out, saying that perhaps the cloud ballistics are in error and that she will 
review them again. So assuming that there is no second bolt of lightning, just the first at 8.40, the Illumo Bear flash at 9, and the lightning at 11.35 that hit the tree. Okay? But still, we got holes. The holes are, why didn't Fluttershy see Apple Bloom? Oh, I forgot to mention, those pictures of Rainbow Dash, that might have something to do with why Rainbow Dash lied to Phoenix about why she was at the scene of the crime. She was probably there concerning those pictures. And the second landing bolt doesn't exist. But Fluttershy did not see Apple Bloom leaving the Everfree Forest. Why not? Well, just to buy time, because Fluttershy was about to be declared guilty, Phoenix accused Fluttershy of murdering a Swift. And, by the way, if it was Fluttershy, everything still lines up. Fluttershy could have taken the cloud at 4 o'clock and brought it to the Everfree Forest, knowing that Ace Swift would be there. Fluttershy could have wiped her own hoof markings off of the cloud. Rainbow Dash's hoof markings would be there. After all, she was in charge of the cloud. She would have touched it earlier. Fluttershy, being a Pegasus, could have fired the Bolt of Lightning. So everything still lines up. Plus, Fluttershy not being at home where she says she was explains why she didn't see Apple Bloom. So that's one hole gotten rid of. Also, the, f the big brown feather. Phoenix pointed out that with Fluttershy's exotic animals that she's taken care of from the zoo in Philadelphia that's currently under renovation, the animals. She never lets them out into the Everfree Forest, but she could have brought one of their feathers along by mistake. So that explains the feather. So, Trixie agrees to suspend the case, to search for further evidence, saying that two of Twilight's friends in the Slammer is reward enough for today. So. That's that. What I want to know is why didn't Phoenix just tell Twilight the reason that he was accusing Fluttershy? Anyway. Last thing. In part two at the end, we saw three new silhouettes. Who could those be? We'll find out. Plus, after the credits, Phoenix ex exclaims, Mia? So either he saw Mia or heard Mia. Perhaps he saw Mia's ghost like he used to through Maya, through spirit channeling. I don't know. Very strange. Let's find out. Okay. Turnabout Storm, Part 3, Twilight. Alright, here we go. Library. Not one of them accepted. No, Princess. All ten of them refused when they heard the gravity of the case. So, apparently this is a flashback. There is another option. And what would that be, Twilight? I could study the law and defend Rainbow Dash myself. I'm sure I've seen a book or two on equestrian law in the library. I've read them once or twice to get the gist of how our law works. But I can study harder and become a lawyer. You think you can become an adequate lawyer in just a day? I have to try. You and I both know Rainbow Dash would never murder another pony. You have to understand, Twilight. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. I have every bit of confidence in you, but we need to find some pony with the experience to handle this properly. I agree. But Princess, there's no pony else left! <laughs> there is someone else I have in mind. Look at her face. Who? Yep, she knows about Phoenix. Get Phoenix right. So she summoned Phoenix, Phoenix Wright. Wright? Yes, That's how she knew I his name. Him. He is an excellent lawyer. Perhaps even the greatest defense attorney there is. 
So the Celestia in Equestria? asked That's for great. Phoenix Wright. How do I get a hold of him? <laughs> there are a few things you should know about him. You need to summon him. A simple summoning spell should work. But when he arrives, he's going to act a bit odd and look a bit strange. He may even overreact. But try to bear with him no matter what happens. Why would I need to summon him? It takes a lot of magic doing something like that. He's very hard to get a hold of. Bringing him right to you and speaking with him directly is the best course of action. I'm a little confused, Princess. Why would he overreact? Just stroke his ego a bit. Say you accidentally summoned the greatest defense attorney ever. That should win him over. He should be like putty in your hooves after that. <laughs> That's I'm true. Expert, but the way she's speaking isn't very princess-like. That's true, wow. Well. This is still really confusing. Are you sure he's really that good? Yep. I have complete confidence in him. Now, and how sure does Celestia know case? Phoenix right? Not many ponies will. He's not a stranger to murder cases. I'm positive he'll accept. All right, if you say so, princess. I'll start preparing the paperwork assigning him as Rainbow Dash's lawyer. Uh, aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself? We haven't even spoken with him about the crime yet. Don't worry. See, she's I'm preparing sure the badge. I won't turn down someone who is undoubtedly innocent. You do believe Rainbow Dash is innocent, right? Of course I do! As do I. So there is nothing to fear. Why is she so calm, cool, and collected about this pony? Okay, She I'll keeps calling this. him a pony. That's right if you do, princess. You won't be disappointed. I must get going back to Canterlot now, my faithful student. I wish you the best of luck with the trial. By the way, I'll Thank try you, to princess. pause as little as I can. But one more thing, if I may. Hmm? Just to save there are almost time never murder crimes on in me, for, for me. The worst we get the are editing. thefts and burglaries, and those hardly warrant trials and lawyers. Yes, that's true. This is the first murder in a long time during my peaceful reign over Equestria. But that's just it. <laughs> you just said a minute ago that the defense attorney Phoenix Wright has been in murder cases before. How can that be? Uh -oh. Doesn't that contradict what you said? Yeah, she's a good lawyer already. <laughs> very good. You'll get along with him very well. Yeah. What does that mean? That doesn't answer my question. Oh, that's cool. Hey, she's being so... Take this. Vague. Hey, why is she avoiding my question? <laughs> what is... this? It's an equestrian attorney badge. He'll need it. Please be sure to give it to him. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing this cheap-looking trinket. Really? She agrees? Can you already have one of these? Understood, princess. All right. See, she I has no idea right that he's a human. Oh, one more. It was all Princess yes. Celestia's idea. Please don't idea. tell Phoenix Wright I asked you to call him. Why not? Why not? You certainly are curious, aren't you? Goodbye, Twilight. Ah, she did it again! Why do you have to be so cryptic, Princess? She just does. Phoenix Wright. What a strange, strange name. name. You would have thought that she thought she was now, Phoenix. I mean, he I was, was Phoenix. Sorry. Super spectacular, stupendous, spontaneous summoning scripture signals and you. <laughs> And that's where Phoenix comes in. Oh, this date I forgot to attend. I can't believe what he did, accusing Fluttershy like that. Okay, back to the present. It's president. true what they say about president. lawyers, Spike. They're a <laughs> bunch president. of heartless president. liars. But didn't the princess? Yes, ah, I know. Spike's voice she is good. She requested that I use him. She said he was the best there is. But he's a human. I didn't know he would be that a human. That sounds just like from Spike. World, no less. How does the princess know him anyway? If you trust the princess, shouldn't you trust him? No, Spike. He's no good. You should have seen it. He was at poor Fluttershy's neck, accusing her of murder and framing Rainbow Dash for it. Any pony with a single solitary brain cell can see that Fluttershy would never do anything like that. Yeah, no offense, but I think Fluttershy would lose a fight against a terminally ill Graham Cracker. I wanted a good lawyer to defend Rainbow Dash, not to shift the blame to another one of my friends. That's why I'm going to follow through with my original plan. <gasps> and that is... He's I gonna will be, be taking over as the defense the lawyer attorney. in this case. You, a lawyer? Do you even know anything about being a lawyer? Yes. Well, a little. 
A little won't cut it, Twilight. Okay, okay, I don't know much. But if Trixie managed to do it, so can I. Well, that's Besides, true. Besides, it didn't seem all that hard. I just have to point out the flaws and in information. I'm good at stuff like that. I think there's more to it than that. You're right. That's why we'll have to have a good look through this. What's that? How to be a lawyer Question in 24 hours. Law. Well, that's certainly a conveniently titled book. This book is from across the sea. That's where all those weird ponies and humans live, right? Humans They're live across weird, the sea? Spike. They're just... They're just what? Oh! I'm really <laughs> happy. What? They acknowledged the previous... For my taste. That's Spike? Yeah, actually, I'm not familiar with the older of my little pony at all. How do you plan on doing this whole lawyer thing anyway? I got into this. I'm glad you asked that, Spike. At, um, friendship is magic, and I do not care at all to look up the others. And it turned out the laws are identical to his, despite him being from another world. I got most of them memorized. But that's just laws and stuff. So if he's from another world, being a lawyer is totally why are there humans across the sea with the other ponies? That's why this book should provide me all the details I need to become a good lawyer. Across the sea. Twilight. So there's more to the planet than just Equestria. Ancient. What are you talking about? Smite thy prosecuting knave, and make the whelp feel thy wrath of the glorious voice of justice. All right, maybe it sounds <laughs> a little outdated. Twilight can read it. Outdated. Okay, a lot outdated. But it will have to do. Listen to that so music. So what's it say to do first? Let's, Let's see. see. Oh! Consult with thy accused in melancholy, lifting wisdom from thy plea of innocence. Oh, brother! It must mean... Go speak with Rainbow Dash. But I can't. Why not? She's they won't let me speak to Rainbow without a badge. Ah! That's where you come in, Spike! Spike what? is gonna make what a badge. What do I do? I need you to write an appeal to the Equestria Council to appoint me as Rainbow Dash's lawyer while I'm gone. Oh, nice, Twilight. Make me deal with those huffy puffy suits. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? To the detention center. But you said you needed a badge to get in there. Correction. I only needed one to speak with Rainbow Dash as she's the primary suspect. Then who? She has read the Fluttershy. Oh, Fluttershy, right? That's right. She's only a potential suspect right now, so they Plus, will be much more lenient with visitors. Plus, she needs a lot of encouragement. With that, according to the book, I should scour, scour the land, land high, high and low for evidence for pertaining to the guilty culprit with an aid of loyal assistance at thy side. Cliff note. For a female adolescent. Please, Twilight, stop talking like That's that. That's funny. Somehow it physically hurts me. It must mean investigate. Oh, oh, can I be your assistant? Detective Hard Boiled Spike reporting for duty. You are not a female adolescent. Me. Besides, I don't think I need an assistant for this. This book is more or less just guidelines. Come yeah, on, like Twilight, Twilight, please. Sorry, Spike, but you're needed here. Oh. Hey, maybe when I'm done, I'll come home with a nice big sapphire with your name on it. S sapphire? Stayed home Spike reporting for duty. I knew that would work. If Phoenix comes by here, I want you to tell him to stay in the library until I get back. I don't want him causing a ruckus in Ponyville. A ruckus? Uh, sir? Um, ma'am. Uh, sir, ma'am. Sir, ma'am. Protocol? He's really getting into this. All right, Spike. Did the See music just skip? Goodbye, Twilight. Twenty the detention center. Two ten. Twelve thirty four p.m. So it's about noon so time. This is what it looks like in here. Very bleak. Not really what I was expecting. I was expecting it to look a bit more pretty and dark. Really, in a classroom? <laughs> There she is. Fluttershy! Look how scared she looks. Um, hi, Twilight. Um, uh, fear not, fair sir or maiden. <laughs> thou hath cometh to comfort ye in thine time of need, in the elegy of this foul dungeon. <laughs> uh, 
Don't worry, I'm going to get you out of here, Fluttershy. This book must have had the most pretentious author ever. I'm going to be taking over as the defense attorney for this case. What happened to Mr. Phoenix? Just forget about him. I'll clear both of you myself. I if you say so. Thank you. Better change the subject. So, uh, how has it been going? Bad subject change. Me about that feather. Do you think it really came from one of your animals? I don't know. She should know. I don't think so. Okay. I know you didn't do it, but it's still odd to see a feather like that in Ponyville. There is something strange about it, Twilight. Strange? What do you mean? About the feather. It feels like I've seen it before. Mm -hmm. Seen it before? So it really did come from one of your animals? I really don't know. I can't put my hoof on it, but I feel as though I know where the feather came from. That's important. Fluttershy, if it ends up having come from one of your animals, you'll be in more trouble. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, but it's true. Hey, now I'm apologizing like her. Let's talk about the trial, Fluttershy. There were some odd things you brought up in your testimony. Okay. Uh, as much as I hate to say it, you should have seen Apple Bloom leave that forest. Exactly. Uh, are you sure you were watching it all night? Yes, I watched it all night, but I didn't see Apple Bloom leave it. Fluttershy, she got home that night. And you had to have seen her if you really were watching the forest all night like you say. I'm sorry, but I didn't. <sighs> this makes no sense! How did Apple Bloom get out of the forest without being seen? Perhaps I need to have a chat with a certain little filly today. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Fluttershy. I'm sure there's a logical explanation to this. Why were you watching the forest not lying. all night anyway? I wanted to see what was chasing after Rainbow Dash. I guess that makes sense. Rainbow Dash is never one to run away from anything. I'd probably be curious as well. Yeah, that's why I watched all night. I wanted why to was she flying away like that? So fast. Then there's that issue with the lightning, Fluttershy. You've got to tell me you heard two bolts of lightning. Nope, only one. I only heard one bolt of lightning at, at 8.40. 840, the time of I'm death. I'm sure of it. But that doesn't make any sense! Um, yes, it does. Don't you remember? They determined that the second bolt of lightning might not even exist at all. You don't need to say sorry. I believe you. Apple Bloom didn't witness oh. it either. Sorry for saying sorry. <laughs> I feel like my face and my hooves right now. Just more and more questions come from the testimony you gave. It's so, it's so mysterious. mysterious. Like that paper I found. <gasps> more evidence. Uh, what? Wait, paper? What, what paper? paper? Let me see. I found the letter outside my house the morning after the incident. Mm -hmm. It might have come from the forest. You Why say? didn't you say anything about it? This could be evidence! Um, I didn't want to bother Oh, come on, Fluttershy. Fluttershy. Where is it right now? It's on the table next to my front door, but it looked like some pony ripped it in half. Do you so is it only half of it, or is it two parts in half? It was really short. It said something about saying goodbye and it sounded really sad. <gasps> I have to see this Ooh, piece of paper. Fluttershy, I'm important. going to your house to get this paper you're talking about. Okay. Um, Twilight, while you're there, could you feed my animals for me? Of course. Sure thing. And tell Angel Bunny why I'm not home. Yeah, I'll do that too. Thank you, Twilight. Remember what I said, Fluttershy. I'm going to get you out of here. I promise. Alright, I'm not doing so bad. I found a brand new piece of information all by myself. Go get it. <laughs> See? This isn't so hard after all. I just have to slip in Fluttershy's cottage and snag that piece of paper she was talking about. Why snag? There's a lot of police and investigators around analyzing That's the animals, why. but they shouldn't mind me. They probably already found the letter. And who's this? Excuse me. Right. Sorry. Who was that? I've never seen her before. She's headed towards Sugar Cube Corner. She didn't exactly look like the type who's into sweets. Hi, huh, Twa. Huh? Oh, hi, Apple Bloom. What you doing? You seem really deep in thought. I'm just conducting an investigation, that's all. Investigation? 
I mean, no, I'm not doing anything. Get in my crusader Just investigator! <laughs> Let me investigate with you, Cutie Mark Crusader, private investigator. No, I know what it. you've done, Twilight. Apple Bloom, don't you have friends you could be playing with instead? Nope, they're all nope. in school. I got the day off Ooh. because of the trial. You got the whole day off from school because of that? I would have been put in Magic Kindergarten if I missed a day of my <laughs> classes. Magic Kindergarten. Magic Kindergarten. I remember that. Yes, Apple Bloom. Because Magic she Kindergarten thought she was going to go to Magic Garden we'll Kindergarten there, because she was. Tardy! I might as well help you having the day off and all. Look, Apple Bloom, this is grown-up work. Nothing a little filly like you should be doing. Please, Twat, I'll be a big help, I promise. The answer is no, Apple Bloom. Please. Look at that no face. No, no. Please. Please. I said, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's like talking to a wall. A very loud and shrill wall. Hey, Apple Bloom, I know how you can help me. I want to discuss what happened in court today with you. I had to speak with her anyway. Might as well get it over now. No! No! Oh. I thought you wanted to help me! I said I wanted to investigate, not answer boring old questions. Let me investigate What's with up with her eyebrows? Otherwise, I ain't talking. <sighs> Why, you little... Apple Bloom? That's not I Apple really Bloom. need to talk with you about the testimony. Well, it's... That's not... Apple she wouldn't act like that. <gasps> She's keeping something. You she can says investigate bloom with me. On her little Yay! Kitty Marcus and your private investigator! I can't believe I have to give in to our demands. Now, can you tell me about what you said in court this morning? Sure thing, Twa. What do you want to know? What you said is kind of Um, um well impossible. impossible. <laughs> I was telling the truth. Honest. Fluttershy told me she was watching the forest all night, and I don't think she was lying. What does that have to do with me? She said she didn't see you leave the forest. Where exactly were you when you got out? Hmm, after the big lightning, or whatever it was, I was blinded from the flash and stumbled around a bit. When I could open my eyes, I was a little ways away from the pathway on the outside of the forest. So she was a little ways away from the pathway. Light that you thought was lightning, Apple Bloom. She was wasn't it like? it was at like the entrance. It was like a in my face. I thought it was lightning, but, but it's strange. It didn't make it didn't any noise. It didn't make any noise. Why did they bring you in to testify anyway? Wouldn't Zakora have been a better choice? She lives in the forest after all. They were gonna get her instead of me, but she went to sleep after I left. She was really beat from brewing potions all day with me. And none of that lightning woke her up? About the lightning, you should ask the filly and the zookeeper, for I am a heavy sleeper. Yeah. Jeez, Zakora must sleep like a rock. Did you see anything else strange in the forest that night, Apple Bloom? Nope. Oh, wait. There was one other thing. Wait, did Sakura just speak without rhyming? Not to share. No, it, she didn't. I didn't think this was important, but a little after the first lightning bolt scan made me jump a little. You're not fooling anybody. Yes? What happened? Something fell from the sky. Important! I don't know. It happened a few minutes after I was running away, I mean, walking away <laughs> from the lightning bolt. So I didn't bother looking at what it was. Do you remember where it fell? Sorta. Hey, I'll take you there. See, okay, I told you I'd okay. be a big help. Whatever she witnessed dropping must tie in with this somehow. Okay, Apple Bloom. I know I really shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to take you to the Everfree Forest with me. I Apple Bloom can be in there. She's gone in there before. Sky. Yay! Kitty Mark is your private Marcus investigator! My poor eardrums. But first we have to stop by Fluttershy's cottage. There's a torn letter by her door I have to retrieve. Oh, Twa, since I'm helping you out, can you go to the park with me to help me out with something? No, I don't have time for that. Fun. I'm not showing you where that thing is. <gasps> then. Oh. Okay. We'll go to the park after we go into the forest. Thank Apple you so Bloom. much. She's so naughty. Thank you? You didn't give me a choice. So besides that, have you noticed anything else strange these past few days? Oh, yeah. I did. It was Rainbow Dash. Uh-oh, now what? Rainbow Dash? What about her? Two days ago, when I was on my way to Sakura's house, I saw Rainbow Dash. Why didn't she say this stuff Dash? before? Look at ah! That's not me, I swear! Oh, it's only you, Apple Bloom. What are you doing with that big she old cloud? Acts Ain't the storm supposed to be on the other side of Ponyville? Oh, she did bring the cloud. Hey kid, just pretend you never saw me, alright? Then I saw her going to the Everfree Forest with that cloud. She looked kind of worried about something. I was gonna tell every pony about that today, but Rainbow Dash told me to pretend like I never saw her. 
So that's what I did. Oh no, she really did bring that cloud in there like Trixie said. Oh no. But Rainbow Dash wasn't actually planning to murder some pony with it, was she? Wow, we're getting a lot of information about that problem this time. Nothing. Let's stop wasting time here and go to Fluttershy's cottage to get that letter. All right, to Fluttershy's cottage. Apple Bloom, slow down! <laughs> See, Apple Bloom? You need to watch where you're going. I'm sorry for bumping into you. Pause. Okay, we're getting into another character. So, it seems that um, Apple Bloom didn't hear the second lightning at all, just like I said. Also, when she got out of the forest after the the the, uh, the flash of light, when she ran over to, into the, when when she ran into the thing, she was not on the pathway. She was a little ways away from the pathway, which means she did not get out at the entrance. Which means that Fluttershy wouldn't have seen her. So the question is, how was it that when she opened her eyes, she was a little ways away from the pathway? Here's what I think. I think she bumped into a pegasus. I mean, sorry, a unicorn or something. And in fear, the unicorn did a teleportation spell and teleported Apple Bloom outside of the forest. Now, I don't think a unicorn can teleport someone else. I've seen Twilight teleport herself sometimes, a lot of times, and a few, and a few times Spike was close enough to get teleported along with her. So maybe what happened was that Apple Bloom and the thing teleported outside of the forest at the same time. But Apple Bloom was stumbling, a lot, stumbling around a little bit with her eyes closed, giving the thing enough time to run away out of sight. So when Apple Bloom opened her eyes again, she was outside of the forest, a little ways away from the pathway where the thing had, tele had teleported them, and the thing was gone. And that would explain why Fluttershy didn't see them. Plus, we know that Fluttershy did not bring the cloud there. Because, as Apple Bloom stated just now, she saw Rainbow Dash bringing the cloud in to the Everfree Forest. And she was acting very jumpy. As if she had just committed a murder. Or as if she was planning to commit a murder. This does not look good for Fluttershy. But... We all know that Fluttershy didn't do it because of the Magatama not reacting when Phoenix asked her if she did it. So, this is all very mysterious. So let's see who this guy is. Apple Bloom runs ahead, bumps into him, and he's like, I'm sorry for bumping into you. He seems kind of weird. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. Are you sorry? I don't know. What? Huh? No! You have to actually mean it when you're sorry. You have to mean it. Say it with lots of remorse. I'm sorry! No! He's funny. He's like a character out of one of those storybooks. Y you really think I can have a book written about me? Yeah, for sure. What kind of book is that? Psychiatric art for one? You're right. Maybe I can get a biography or something written about me. It'll be a bestseller. Uh, no! Then every pony will think you're egotistical! You can't have a book! Is he yelling at himself? On a scale of 1 to 10, he's a 12 on the weirdo meter. Come on, Twilight, you got the I'm... same way. The name's Come on, time. Control. Nice to meet you, ma'am. I'm Twilight Sparkle, and this is Apple Bloom. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, no! You just called her ma'am! That's like saying she's old! Didn't Mom tell you never ask a lady her age? That's just rude, you bloody idiot! No, <laughs> you didn't exactly ask her age. You sort of just implied it. I'm still sorry! I retract that. He's a 46 on the weirdo meter. I've never seen you in Ponyville before, mister. That makes sense, as I'm not from here. I just flew in today. So you're just visiting or something? The starting line for the big race is in Ponyville this year. Huh, I see. So you're in the Equestria 500. Yep, that's right. I just came in today from Manhattan. You should have told them that earlier, stupid! Jeez, calm down, it's alright. I was betting Rainbow Dash would win. She was representing Ponyville after all. No! Why can't you support me? 
I'm trying to win too. Apple Bloom, he clearly has self-esteem issues. So, Mr. Cruz, you're from Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Yep. Really? Mr. Cruz. How dare you? Tom Cruz. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Never no. Mind. Don't lie, you loser. You do awful, horrible, atrocious. Last place every time. Every time? Dead last. Aw, uh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, Here it comes. No! Now you're pitying me. I feel so sorry for myself. Don't worry. You'll do better this year. Ah! No! Now you're pitying you. You must look so pathetic in front of these two. I don't think you're pathetic. I know how you feel. My big sister is mean to me all the time. Oh, this was that bronze again. She makes me do a bunch of lame chores. It's like she doesn't care about me at all. Hmm. Don't What's say this? That. Huh? Older siblings always care for the well-being of their younger brothers and sisters. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, the Equestrian 500 sure is a tough race to compete in. What was that about? He just 180 there. Don't worry about me. Things will be different this year. You plan no, on no, they're not all yeah, gonna exactly. lose. Let's just say a big burden is off my shoulders. <gasps> Are you talking about Ace Swift? Him not being there will take some of the pressure off the racers. Ace? You know, the undefeated Pegasus that was going to be representing Canterlot. I know who he is. Then you probably know what happened to him. Yes, I do. He's dead as a doorknob, and to be perfectly honest, that jerk got what was coming to him. I hope it was painful. What? How could you say something like that? An innocent pony was killed! Innocent? He was... <sighs> No! You're huh? right, Twilight Sparkle. I shouldn't say things like that. It's very unbecoming of me. Cruise Control, do you have something against Ace Swift? Oh! No, of course not. I respect my fellow racers. What, what the heck are those? What are what? Those chains and locks. What are you talking about, Twilight? I'm afraid I don't know what locks and chains you're talking about either. Don't worry. I don't think you're crazy or anything. Ah, uh, no! You do think she's crazy! Don't lie! This Harlequin is calling me crazy? You're telling me you two can't see them? Are you feeling all right? Why don't they see them? Son of the Magatama rubbed power like... onto her. Yeah, feels like the same mystical magic. What the? Something tells me that wasn't just a good luck charm. But what does this mean? I'm sorry, Twilight Sparkle, but I was on my way to register for the big race. It's in two days, you know. It was nice meeting you. Yes. It was nice meeting you, too. Bye-bye, mister! No! What if you're late and they disqualify you for being tardy? This is why you should have woken up earlier today. There he goes. He's still talking to himself. <laughs> What's that business about? Why do I feel the need to break them? The question is, how do I break them? Do I need a key or something? What made him appear like that? Twa? Oh, sorry. I kind of zoned out there, didn't I? Okay, before we go to Fluttershy's cottage, I want to check something, Apple Bloom. The park? <clears throat> no, I just want to see something. He has to know about it. Okay, oh. lead the way, Twilight. He? Who's that? The judge? Phoenix. Who? Oh. Why'd you want to come back here, Twilight? He's not here. Where did he go? I just wanted to check something. It's not here, though. Let's get going to Fluttershy's house. Probably Phoenix. Alrighty. Oh, Miss Sparkle! <laughs> huh? It's the judge I summoned. Hello, the judge. How I've never you? seen the judge I mean, outside of his... How doth thy bringer um, of unbiased justice and truth fare under these weary summer skies? And off his yeah. chair. Um, what I mean never is, seen him how are you of his enjoying Ponyville so far? Uh, your Honor? Oh, no need to call me that. I'm off duty. So, what's your name anyway? You never told me. Just call me Judge. Really? I wouldn't like it if ponies just called me Unicorn. I don't mind. One short name. Like that pop singer, you know? Living Material World. Living in a material world? What is that? Hmm. To answer your question, Miss Sparkle, I've been having a marvelous time. To tell the truth, I'm gonna have to I was look that up. from my seat waiting for the trial to be over, just so I could explore more of what this world has to offer. So you really don't mind being pulled into Equestria like this? Well, that cram session I was put through was a tiring task, and I'm working on no sleep. 
But taking in the imagery and meeting the nice inhabitants of this world is well worth it. I'm glad you're enjoying it, but why did you come back to the courthouse? I wanted to speak to Mr. Wright. You see, I wanted him to accompany me while I hit up some tourist spots. I suppose he's busy investigating, though. I saw him speaking with another pony that had hair as gravity-defying as his after the trial ended. I came back hoping he Who would, would still be around. Uh, you haven't seen him, have you? No. I'm actually going to be taking over as the defense when the trial continues tomorrow. Yeah, and I'm helping her investigate. Oh, it's a cute little witness from earlier. Hello, little one. Do you want to play with my gavel? Would I? Cutie Mark Crusader Chief Justice! <laughs> Don't bang that thing near me! So you're taking over the defense? Hmm. Mr. Wright was never one to give up, but I suppose it's none of my business. May I ask why you were being so hard on us today? What do you mean? Well, it just seemed like you were out to get us. You sided with Trixie most of the time. You also threatened holding me in contempt of court. You see, Miss Sparkle, it's my job. In fact, I didn't care much for that prosecutor's attitude right from the start. But her logic and the evidence she supplied was much more decisive than yours. Don't take it too personally. I see. May I ask you something, Miss Sparkle? Yes? I noticed all your criminal justice laws are really similar to ours. Is there any reason for that? It may be because they were adapted from the humans who live in another country across the sea. Must Very strange humans, humans there are across the street. From you, just across, like the ponies across there, the, uh, from across the, the sea. Equestria. Different ponies? How so? Um, yeah, change the subject. There it is again. <laughs> oh, look. They're just really we see Rarity, Pinkie Pie. I think that's Goodaloo back there. I don't know who that one on the right is. So, what are you going to do now? I don't really know. Do you know any good tourist attractions, Miss Sparkle? None at the top of my head. I just got back from the Equestrian 500 starting. I see they're still setting it up. I even got this program. Program? Can I see it for a second? Sure! Let's see what we got here. It really ripped me up seeing that written next to Rainbow Dash's name. What? What's it, what's it say? Uh-huh. Subject Why is change? it still on the roster? Yeah. Well, that's because his death is being kept hush-hush. Everypony knows about the murder, but they didn't know who the victim was. In fact, I didn't even know who it was until the night before the trial. Yes, every member of the jury has been sworn to not speak of the events that has transpired in the courtroom today. So who's that on the street? That you keep discreet about the identity of the victim as well. Uh, all right. <clears throat> I accidentally told cruise control about it. The reason mm. being is that we don't want to worry the other races. It may give them the idea if they become too good, well, it, the murderer will cruise control go already them about next. It. I see. But when I think back to it, cruise control already knew. How did he know that Ace Swift was dead? I didn't see exactly. him in the program today. This program is going to be updated daily until the race. Judge, what's with this empty slot here? That's what Number I was wondering. <laughs> There is a strange story about that. One of the racers signed up, then dropped out. Dropped out? He's from another city, Manhattan, I believe. That's Chris Control. Why did he fly all the way out here to register I don't see him on the list. and then drop out? Manhattan? Yep, that's right. I just came in today from Manhattan. Wait, is this racer's name Cruise Control? Yes, I think that's it. But he told me that he just got in today and he was going to register for the race. That can't be the case. He's been in Ponyville for two days now, according to this program. Strange that he would register, drop out, and then go register again. Maybe he's just really indecisive on whether he wants to compete or not. It's just like me. I can't decide whether I want diet cola or normal cola sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, he does can seem I to be one who may be yeah. very indecisive. Absolutely, Mr. But he did lie. He said he got in just today. But then again, he didn't yell at himself world. for lying. So, there's another mystery. This might help a lot. Thank you very much. It was no... Oh. What are you staring at? What's the matter? It's that pony over there. Him? 
And what it's about Doctor Who? He's been eyeballing me since the trial start. He's making me kind of nervous. Why don't we just ask him why he's doing that? Now that's the thing. I feel as though I'll create some sort of paradox if I do. <laughs> he's supposed to be the best human judge. Maybe he's just admiring my beard. Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, I better be going now. Ooh, may I have my gavel? What is that all about? He's gonna create a paradox if he goes and asks him why he's staring at him. Who is that pony? Calling that in casual conversation. I'll see you in court tomorrow. A good luck on your investigation. I'm starting to become suspicious about this cruise control character. I need to find him and speak with him about this. Are we going to the forest now, Twilight? You're really anxious to go there, aren't you? The sooner the better. I should get my kitty mark as soon as I show you the thing that fell from the sky. Alright, let's go then. Look at all the police, Twy. They must be trying to find a matchup. That's with that not what Fluttershy's cottage is supposed me. to look like. What's, what is it, Apple Bloom? What this happened is probably to the, the back nice lawyer guy you were with during that trial? Apple Bloom. Yeah? Don't talk about him, please. But why? I just don't want to talk about him, so drop it. Uh, okay. Let's just get what we came here for. Nice lawyer guy. That's a laugh. You said there's a letter or something in Fluttershy's house, right? Let's go get it. Uh -oh. Stop right there. No, no civilians on this. <gasps> Ooh, why look who it is. And just when I thought this day couldn't get any worse. It's Twilight Snarkle. Seriously? Twilight Snarkle? Really? That's the best one you could come up with? I'm not here to argue with you, Trixie. Trixie sees you're taking a babysitting. Trixie doesn't really blame you. Today's defeat being so humiliating and all. Hey, I'm not a baby. And you. Don't think Trixie forgot what you said in court today. You tell Apple Smack Talker if she wants to say something, she should say it to Trixie's face instead of forwarding insults through a rug rat. Deep breaths, Twilight. Deep breaths. You didn't defeat anything, Trixie. The trial was postponed until tomorrow. The great and powerful Trixie begs to differ. Once we find out where this feather came from, one of your friends will be getting a swift, guilty verdict. <laughs> she doesn't even Give care who. regards to that doofus lawyer of yours. Where is he, anyway? Shut up! <gasps> uh, ah! I can't let her get under my skin like this. <laughs> Trixie struck a bad chord, didn't she? Forget him. I'm going to be your opponent tomorrow, Trixie. We'll see who wins. Huh. Trixie understands why you ditched that worthless human, but unfortunately, you're still going to lose, whether the feather matches any of these animals or not. The magnificent prosecutor Trixie will see to it one of your snot-nosed friends will get an all-expense-paid one-way ticket to the sun. What does she mean, Twa? If Never the feather matches the one of Fluttershy's animals, she will be seen as just as guilty as Rainbow Dash. What if it doesn't match any of these animals? Then we will be left where we were before Fluttershy was accused. The judge about to hand down Rainbow Dash's verdict. In other words, win-win for Trixie. Trixie doesn't mean to toot her own horn, but... <clears throat> Toot toot. Trixie really puts the pro in prosecutor. You really have the audacity to call yourself a pro trotting around in that tacky wizard outfit? That isn't fair! Too. That was Life kind of isn't fair, little girl. Especially when purple pests come along. Trixie's horoscope did say purple would be her unlucky color. You Why are you wearing, wearing purple, purple then? Right? <laughs> <laughs> what Trixie meant was the horoscope said your particular shade of hideous purple would be unlucky. So, how and when did you become a prosecutor, anyway? That really isn't any of your business, dorky bangs. Trixie merely saw an opportunity and seized it. Carpe siam. It's carpe diem, genius. And no pony disses the bangs. This investigation <laughs> won't be much longer, anyway. We'll get confirmation on exactly what this feather came from soon. How? I guess it doesn't really matter if the great and powerful Trixie shares this with you. Since this little town is out in the boonies and has no proper science division, we can't get the feather thoroughly analyzed. The boonies? You... Arr! Some of the most highly educated and prestigious zoologists are coming in from Canterlot to examine it for us. We'll know everything there is to know about this feather. Then you can say goodbye to one of your criminal friends. Oh, parting is such sweet sorrow. 
I have a question, Trixie. What is it? You want to know why Trixie is ten times smarter, beautiful, and all around better than you? Why do you have such a grudge against me? And don't tell me that it's that whole Ursa Minor thing. I know it's not that. What are you talking about? Of course it's that. You ruined my career, Twilight Snarkle. Do you know how many heckles I get now? Or how many tomatoes I get lobbed at me when I show my face on stage because of you? See, I can tell that's not it. Because you're speaking normally. What? I noticed it several <laughs> times in court today. Witness, oh, this so is did the I. first time I'm hearing about this. Why did you not say anything to me regarding this earlier? If you enjoy hearing pointless information, be my guest. It was probably just a tree or a rock. I think the defense is just hopelessly grasping at straws. When you get emotional, unsure, or nervous, for instance, you say, I, me, and mine, instead of Trixie. You could say it's a nervous habit, akin to how some avoid eye contact or blink frequently when lying. What are you talking about? I'm not lying. You said I'm instead of Trixie again. <clears throat> Shut your mouth! So answer me, Trixie. Why are you doing this? I... uh... I told you! It's about that stupid, overgrown, flea-ridden bear! There it goes again! Ooh, there's more of them this again. time. W wait a minute. They're black. No, this is different. These locks... they feel different from the ones Cruise Control had. Filled with anger, despise, despair, and sadness. So much sadness. She can feel all that? Uh, why am I tearing up? I'm sad, but I don't know why. Uh, these black blocks are depressing me. It's so overwhelming. <laughs> Got something in your eye, Crylight? Or did Twix you hurt your widow fee wing? I don't want to break these locks. I wanted to break the ones around Cruz, but I'm afraid what will happen when I break these ones. Ooh. Do these locks guard something in a pony's heart? If that were true, that means Trixie... I know she doesn't like me after what happened last time she was here, but these emotions I feel right now, there's no way it's just because of that. It's something else. But that was the first time I met Trixie in my life. What else could I have done to her to bear these awful feelings? So she feels Trixie's emotions. You're creeping me out. Say something. Uh, sorry, Trixie. Forget it. You're obviously not going to tell me anything. For once, you're right. Trixie need not share her vast, endless wisdom with the enemy. Anyway, it's been fun chatting with you over the demise you'll face at Trixie's hoof tomorrow. But Trixie must offer her cunning intellect to the investigation team. I wish you luck with that, but just warning you, I'm not going to let my friends down. I believe neither of them did it, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this and solve this whole thing myself. Prepare to be disappointed then, Twilight Snarkle. Whatever you say. Now, I have some things to do here. Don't think so. What? The great and powerful Trixie is the head of the investigation team, and Trixie doesn't want any civilians on the premises. But I'm the defense attorney. I have the right to investigate. Let's see the badge, then. I don't have one yet. Oh, too bad. I guess you don't get to investigate. Go play lawyer somewhere else. No! I need to get that letter! Please, Trixie. Sneak I... in. Around the other I side. I need to feed the animals inside. Fluttershy asked me to. We already took care of that. All the animals have been properly fed. Mm. Trixie isn't going to repeat herself. Scram! I'll just sneak in quickly while she isn't looking. And don't even think about trying to sneak inside, either. Not unless you want to join your friends behind bars. <laughs> hmm. On second thought, yes, Twilight Snargle, try sneaking in. Ciao. See you in court tomorrow. The merciful Trixie will try to make it as quick and painless as possible. I couldn't get it. What's the matter, Twa? Forget it, Apple Bloom. Huh? I'm not cut out for this stuff. I was in over my head. That letter could have given us an edge, and I failed to get it. You mean this? <gasps> huh? What's that? It's that letter you were talking about. What? How did you get it? I went in Fluttershy's house, and I got it while you were talking with Trixie. I don't believe it. Apple Good Blue, job, thank Apple you Blue. so much. See, I told you I could help. You I'm sure sorry did. for doubting you. It's no problem. Anything there yet? What? Nah. On my flank! Did I get a cutie mark for doing that? Uh, no. Aww. You're still obsessing over that, I see. Can I see of that letter course. again? I can't live with the guilt any longer. I can't keep helping you ruin others' hopes and dreams. 
It saddens me beyond belief we must part ways, but I must say farewell. Goodbye, Ace. May our paths cross in the future. So that's not what a letter from the murderer mean? because it says may I'm our paths sure, cross in the future. Written out to the they victim. were sure planning like Rainbow Dash is writing. on seeing How do you know Ace it's not again. Her Rainbow Dash's writing is, well, messy. This is written very neatly and formally. Two adverbs that describe anything but Rainbow Dash. I know we were going to go to the Everfree Forest, but I want to lay low for a while. So we're going back into Ponyville? Correct. Trixie doesn't know about this letter, so let's hurry and vacate the premises. We could get in trouble if she finds out we took this. All right, Twy, let's go to the park now. It's a shortcut anyway. Apple Bloom, we don't have time. She did get the letter for me. Okay, let's go to the park. You want me to do something for you there? Yeah, you're the only one who can help me. All right then, but it has to be fast. Thank you, Twilight. This is complicated. <laughs> There's Lyra and Baba. Look at her sitting on the seat like that. I thought been a bit more decisive. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I can't make heads or tails of what it means. It's over here on this bridge. Uh huh. Oh, right. You wanted me to do something for you here. Look down there in the lake. I don't see That's anything. That's a river. Really squint your eyes. It's down there pretty deep. I see... some... thing? Yeah, Sweetie Belle and me saw it yesterday when we were walking home from school. So, what exactly do you want me to do here? What do you think? Pull it out with that magic of yours. Why do you want it? Well... Hey, Sweetie Belle, let's make a bet. Huh? What do you say we try to pull sweetie. that thing out of the water? Oh, that sounds fun. But how are we going to get it? Look how far it is down there. We can make some fishing rods. All you need is a stick and rope, right? And maybe a banana as bait. But let's make it more interesting. And the one who snags it first gets a bowl of ice cream from the loser. Okay, you're on, Apple Bloom. That ice cream is as good as mine. That's just, just like we just couldn't get it with those they, fishing rods we made. So great, that's why you're going to be my secret weapon, Twy. That's it? Let me get this straight. You brought me here to pull that thing out of the water just so you can extort a bowl of ice cream out of Sweetie Belle? Yep. You can't do that, Apple Bloom. That's cheating. Come on. I'm grounded. I'm not going to be getting any ice cream for weeks. I'll take You're it out so you can see what home. it is, but I'm not giving it to you so you can unfairly get a bowl of ice cream from Sweetie Belle. Aww. It's down there pretty deep, and my magic is pretty exhausted from using two summoning spells in the last 24 hours, but two? I think I oh, can yeah, call it up. Judge. Just have to focus. A bit to the left, a bit to the right. Got it! Oh, it's, uh... A stick of some kind. Look on the end of it. There's a P. You're right. Whatever this thing was, some pony really did a number on it. It looks all burnt. Wait a oh. minute. The grass is odd, too. It's all black. You're it's right. the thing from it's that imprint. It's and burnt like there was a small fire around the body. This thing have... What's the matter? Um, I think I'm actually going to keep it. Hey, you just want to keep it so you can get free ice cream out of Sweetie Belle. N no, I don't. It could be evidence for my investigation. You completely ripped off my idea! I hope you choke on that ice cream! How could any pony possibly choke on ice cream? Wow. Sweet Bell's um, mean. Twi? I mean, yes, Apple Bloom? Some pony's coming this way really fast. Huh? Who's that? Wait, isn't that special delivery? It's for Derpy! Me? I can't tell if she's looking at me or Apple Bloom. Uh-huh. For you! Hey, wait a minute. Great voice. You're that mail carrier who dropped all that stuff on me. That hospital bill wasn't cheap, you know. Oh, I remember that. I think I know who you are. You're, uh, Ditsy Doo, right? Nope, my name is Derpy. Derpy Hooves. Try not to forget it. A lot of ponies do. I've seen you a lot in various places. I think I even saw you at the trial today, but we were never formally... That's the voice I'm familiar yeah, with. I see you all the time, but I never actually met you. Well, you know, the life of a mail carrier. I get around a lot. But I've only seen you delivering once, Derby Hooves, and that was when you sent a bunch of junk plummeting on top of me. Every pony makes mistakes. And please, get my name right. It's Ditsy Doo. But you just said- I have a special delivery for you hmm. in any case. Here you go! A muffin? 
<laughs> uh, muffin? Yep. Can you please sign for it here? Here? And here. Who sent me a muffin? I don't know. Check the return address. That's what it's for. There is no return address. There's not even a normal address. And it's not packaged. How did you even know it was for me? Please don't complain. I'm just but a lowly mail carrier. You can take it up with the post office if you have an issue. On second thought, don't. There's a lot of chaos ensuing there since the other night. The last thing they need is another problem on top of the others. There's a problem at the post office? This may be another lead. Can you tell us what's going on, Ditsy Doo? <sighs> Why do ponies have such a hard time remembering my name? Uh huh. Please try to remember it this time. It's Derpy Hooves, with a D. You're starting to hurt my feelings, Twilight. So, you want to know what's going on at the post office? Our eye keeps yes, changing colors. Yes, but it's not a problem. It is a problem. It's top secret. I'm not supposed to tell any pony. <sighs> this is getting Why us is nowhere. Top there, that's but the you real two color help of me out eyes. so much, I think I can tell you. How did we help her? This pony is so daft. If you wouldn't mind, Derpy. Ditsy. Well, let me start off by telling you the code of the mail carrier. It's a poem we are forced to memorize and recite proudly at the beginning of each new day. Okay. What's this have to do with- Ahem. No letter shall go undelivered rain or shine. No canine shall prevent us from reaching the mailbox. All packages must reach their destination. That was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Please, that was the corniest thing I've ever heard. So, what's this have to do with the chaos See, and that's what I should look office? like. Post office? Yes! You said you were going to tell us what was going on at the post office. Oh, right, right. You see, it does have to do with the code. That nice poem you told us? That wasn't a poem, it didn't even rhyme. Yes, the letter part of it. All packages must reach their destination. Something didn't reach its destination? Indeed. We've had incidents in the past where packages have been delivered to the wrong ponies. Gee, I wonder who's responsible for that. Not a clue. We usually get those problems sorted out fast, though. But this was a shipment being imported to Ponyville overseas. What was the shipment? I can't tell you that. Top secret. A local pony wanted to import it here, and boy, was she mad when she didn't get it today. What do you mean? Who was this pony? It's top, top secret. secret, we know. See? You're learning. I can tell you, though. I heard she was down at the post office yelling and screaming up a storm about it. She was causing quite the scene today. So, this was all happening during the trial, I guess. Yeah, I didn't witness it because I was at the trial myself, but my fellow mail carriers told me all about it. In the end, she didn't get her package, and she was furious. I heard my boss was cursing about the Griffin Express not delivering the package to us. Griffin Express? That's the company that ships overseas and stuff. You know, from the Griffin Kingdom, that place far up north of Ponyville. I know where it is. What I mean is... Why didn't the Griffin Express deliver this package? The hey should I know? I told you I'm but a little <laughs> mail carrier. I only deliver stuff around Ponyville. And despite, and despite the small population, population, you still managed to mess it up. All Gotta I know love is Derby. the Griffin Express didn't show up when they were supposed to. When was it they were supposed to deliver the package? Let me take a gander at my handy dandy schedule. Hmm. Two days ago, it was supposed to reach Ponyville mail sorting at 10 p.m. sharp. Then delivered at 9.30 a.m. today. The time it was supposed to be in Ponyville. That's near the time of the murder. Hey, you're right. Ditsy Doo, can I borrow that schedule? Maybe I can mm. use it in court tomorrow when defending Rainbow Dash. Is it even important? <sighs> Say it with me. Der. P. Hooves. It's not that hard to remember. It's only three syllables, 11 letters, two words. I do my best to remember all the names of the ponies in Ponyville. You should do the same, Twilight Sparkle. What is this wonky Pegasus's problem? Hey, I know. So, is your name Derpy Hooves or Ditsy Doo? Ha! I got her! She can't answer it! Now you really hurt my feelings. Why are you calling me harsh names like that? My name is Bright Eyes. You're just like every other pony, making fun of my And eyes. who I came up with that? I was born with them. Twilight, how could you say such a thing? But what? I'm not making fun of her, she just keeps changing her name on a whim! I would love to give you my schedule as evidence, though. Uh-huh. Court dramas. I had 
tourism, the suspense, the tension. The judge is about to lay down the guilty verdict. Then out of nowhere, when all hope seems lost, the purple-horned attorney uses Bright Eyes' valuable turnabout schedule. The courtroom gasps in disbelief. Schedule. My gosh, Bright Eyes is amazing, trips one pony. She can deliver the mail any day, a hunky stallion says while holding a rose in his mouth. The unbelievable becomes believable. Lies become truth. Truth becomes lies. Way to ham it up. Besides, I have an extra one anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Bra, Miss Mailmare. Ah, uh, no problem, little filly. Is the apple bloom caught on? Here, I have a surprise for you. I like surprises. Here you are, a nice scrumptious muffin. Uh. But this is no need to thank me. Enjoy. But bright eyes, that's not a. Okay, that's it. You obviously aren't too bright if you can't remember my name. I gotta go now. You're holding up Ponyville's mail. But. No buts. I don't feel like speaking with you anymore. You can't even remember my name after I told you it like a million times. Good and bye. The ponies in this town really are crazy. Pause. Oh man, I love that voice. That is the voice of Derby Hoops. They changed her voice on the show. She's got two official voices. But this is the one. That I know and love. To me, they didn't get a voice actress to play Derpy Hooves. They got the actual Derpy Hooves. What's up with her changing from Derpy to Ditsy? I mean, is her name Ditsy? Or is her name Derpy? I like to think. That one's her name and one's a nickname. But then, Bright Eyes? No, I think that's an uncreative name. And it's just out of nowhere, too, for all I know. Oh well. Let's go. Continuing. Hopefully, we see more Derby. So, what did she give you, Apple Bloom? It's for some pony named Lenora. Lenora? I don't know any pony who goes by that name, but it sounds somehow familiar. I guess this muffin belongs to you. Let's trade. It says this Lenora is at the town hall. Lenora? This has the Canterlot Royal Seal on it. Did the princess send this? Well, if we know where she is, why don't we go deliver it to her then? If the princess sent it, wouldn't no, it come I from really Spike? I don't think we have time to do that. We need to get to the forest, and we can't keep getting sidetracked like this. But what if it's important? Well, I guess it does have the royal seal on it. Okay, fine. Cutie marker stainer letter deliverer! <sighs> I thought it was a private investigator. Town hall is just over there, so let's go there and quickly drop it off to this Lenora. Okay. I haven't been inside here since Nightmare Moon Attack. I wonder why we don't hold more events in this place. Hello, Lenora. We have a letter for you. Apple Bloom, this is Town Hall. You're supposed to be quiet. Oh, sorry. We should probably go ask the mayor where this Lenora is. Hey, Twyla, look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. <laughs> so, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions. What if we miss a big clue because we're too absorbed in small details like that? Where did she learn all those big words? She was acting just I'm like Maya. I'm less concerned with what it's called and more concerned with why it's just sitting in the middle of the room like that. Wrestlers use ladders like that one all the time. Ugh, don't tell me you actually watch that garbage, Apple Bloom. It's all staged and fake. Hey, don't call wrestling garbage. So what if it's fake? Most of those books you read are fake. There's a big difference <laughs> between fiction and watching two ponies barbarically beat each other senseless with a stepladder. <laughs> Finally! I've been waiting here forever. Oh my gosh, a griffin! Where's that? So where's the princess at? Are you two her messengers or something? First a human, and now griffin? I'm seeing a lot of new creatures I ain't never seen before today. Did Apple, G Ooh, did Apple okay. Bloom not see I'm Gilda? I'm just a little bit shocked. Griffins come in and out of Ponyville shipping stuff sometimes, but I've never had the experience of speaking to one. Well, except that one time. Yep, it's Gilda. You mean the Griffin Express? Funny you should mention that. I work for them. You work for the Griffin Express? 
Yep, but I'm on sort of a vacation right now. My name is Lenora. I'm Twilight Sparkle, and this is Apple Bloom. Very pleased to meet you, Twilight Sparkler and Apple Bloom. <laughs> it's, um, Twilight Sparkle. Hey! I knew I'd seen that name before! You're on this program for the Equestrian 500! Yes, sure You didn't is. think it would be all ponies flying in that four. race, did you? Number four. Actually, I did. I don't usually pay attention to the race. You and your little pony pals may be faster and nimble, but us griffins have much stronger wings and a lot more stamina. It's why we're the only ones who can ship items overseas. I never said I was faster. I don't even really care either. Did you notice the horn protruding from my forehead or my lack of wings? Lack of well, wings, you not for long. It's a gathering of Equestria's best aerial athletes. Show a little patriotism, Twilight Sparkler. I'm too busy to be concerned about the race anyway. I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer? Yeah. They don't look like a lawyer. What's the matter? Oh, sorry. I just had this strange feeling you were going to obnoxiously flash something in my face to prove it. I was going to do that, but I remembered I don't have a badge yet. So if you're a lawyer, I'm betting you're defending that newbie racer who killed a pony the other day? She happens to be my friend, and she didn't do it. Jeez, chill. I'm only going off what I heard. Uh, sorry. I the thought they weren't supposed to know like about it. Yeah, we got a letter for you. The local mail carrier accidentally gave us a letter posted to you. Tisk tisk. The GE would never make a mistake like that. We're proud and reliable. We even have a poem we recite at the beginning of each day. Uh -oh. Please allow me. No, not another half-baked mail carrier poem. Carrying your mail suspended upon reliable wings. Jumping into action whenever duty sings. The Griffin Express will greet you with a smile when your doorbell rings. That was better than the last one. I think I need to make a poem for the Cutie Mark Crusaders. It was still pretty bad, but at least this one actually rhymed. Here's your letter, Lenora. Thank you. Let's see here. Sorry, but the princess is in another castle, huh? Wait, huh? the princess? As in Princess Celestia? Hmm... Hmm... Oh! Oh well. Huh? Oh, you see the griffins back at the kingdom don't want the racetrack going through our territory. I personally don't mind because I'm flying in the race anyway. But what's this have to do with Princess Celestia? I was to meet with her to negotiate a compromise, so I've been here in Ponyville for the past three days. Your princess was kind enough to let me stay in the town hall. So, technically that would make you some sort of ambassador. I guess. The Griffin Kingdom may be a part of Equestria, but it runs under a completely different government. So what does the letter say? Apparently the princess is in Germany in some other political <laughs> meeting. Germany? She completely rerouted the race. It goes around the border of the Griffin Kingdom, so I guess I'm a free bird now. I That's a good one. For the race now? Germany. Probably. I've been flying in it for four years now, you know. Are you any good? Of course. I got second place last year. Not bad. I'm guessing East Swift came in first. Uh oh. Is it me or do not many ponies or griffins like him? Can we not talk about him, please? It's okay. We don't have to talk about him if you don't want to. Hmm. Maybe I can get information about him from her. What about this other pony in the race? Cruise control? Cruise control? I'll gladly talk about him. Great! What do you know? I know a lot about the other racers. I've competed against just about all of them before. But Cruise Control... he has a pretty depressing story. I don't think depressing is the right word. I think off his rocker is what you're looking for. Oh, that. That's all just a facade. I suppose he thought if he was to become a loser, he'd act like one. That whole awkward personality is just an act? He's actually good. Really good. He does exceptionally well in the local races near his hometown. Then why does he do so bad in the Equestrian 500? He says he comes in dead last every time. He's been acting like that ever since that accident his sister had. His sister? Yeah, he has a little sister. A bit older than that filly with you. What happened to her? She was flying at a dangerously high altitude near Cloudsdale. But she was too young and her wings weren't strong enough, so... Well, she fell. Is she alright? It was a terrible accident. She's in a deep coma in the extensive care unit. No one knows when she'll wake up. That's awful. Cruz took awful. her to a hospital in Canterlot. I've heard it's the best one there is. Wait a minute. I used to live in Canterlot, and you're right, it is the best hospital, but it's only open to nobles and Canterlot citizens, and 
He said he was from Manhattan. How did he get her in there? I have a good idea how he pulled that off. That hospital's medical practice is among the best in Equestria, and if she's transferred to a lower-class facility, you probably know what'll happen. Yeah. Him and I used to be good friends, but he's grown quite distant since the accident. Lenora, he knows something I have to get out of him. My friend's life may depend on what he knows. Do you know how I can get him to talk to me? Like I said, he's become pretty distant from me. I wish I could help you, Twilight Sparkler. Sparkle. Hmm. I don't know how much help it'll be, but here's a picture of him and his sister that he gave to me. Hmm. You think this will get him to talk to me? I really don't know, but it's worth a shot, right? Why does this make I it worse? So. I hope you manage to help your friend. Thank you. I'm going to go mingle around the starting line. Tell me how your conversation with Cruz goes if you can. Will do. Goodbye. She was a little shady on a bit of those details, but I'm beginning to understand what's going on here. What's wrong, Apple Bloom? Oh, it's just I couldn't imagine Applejack was in the hospital like Mr. Cruz's sister. I know. It makes you appreciate the things you have now. You never realize how important some pony is to you until they're gone. Hey, let's try to cheer up. You're not going to get your private investigator cutie mark sitting around feeling sad. You're right, Twa. All right. No more delays. Let's go to the forest. Really, this time. All right. I think it was over here. No, wait. Over here. She's been dragging me around this forest for 25 minutes. Ah, it was right here. I remember. This is where you saw that thing fall from the sky? Yeah, it was somewhere around here. I hope this is worth it. All right, I think it fell around this here bush. Apple Bloom, don't go off by yourself. Apple Bloom? Oh, great. Apple Bloom! She's just going to pop up. Here it is! Yep. Uh, don't scare me like that. Sorry. I'm never having children. Here's that thing I saw fall down from it's the sky. It's a spot. bag. It seems like some sort of bag. Let's open it. Apple Bloom, we can't just go through some pony's belongings like- Ooh, looky, it's a bottle. <sighs> I tried. A bottle of what? I don't know. There isn't any label. Give it here, Apple Bloom. That's strange. She's right. There isn't any label on this. It looks like there's some sort of liquid inside. Do you know what it is, Twa? No, I don't. Let's give it a whiff. Maybe I can identify it by the smell. <laughs> My nostrils! It smells like concentrated used kitty litter! It smells that bad? It smells worse. What a waste of time. Here I thought this would have been case-breaking evidence, and I just ended up losing my sense of smell. <laughs> well, that's useless. Aww. What's the matter? I didn't get a cutie mark for being a private investigator. Yeah, that's too bad. I wonder what an investigator cutie mark would look like anyway. I don't know. Maybe a magnifying glass. That reminds me of something, Twilight. Do you remember what happened the last time we went to the Everfree Forest together? Apple Bloom, that was just your imagination. But I was there, and those ponies tried to... I refuse to believe in such things. The next day I went and checked the area you were in myself. Nothing but trees as far as the eye can see. Just remember to stick mm. by me no matter what this time. No wandering off by yourself, okay? Okay. Hey, cheer up! Even if it was just your imagination, that's a good thing. Maybe you can write a story about it. Really? They're talking There's about the thing that... Based stories off personal experience. I'm sure you can write a good story about yours. Her. Thanks, Twa. I think I'll do that. <sighs> well, this journey proved to be fairly fruitless. I'm sorry, Twilight. I thought it'd be something important. It's all right, Apple Bloom. We found a plethora of other things that may be useful tomorrow. What do you want to do now? I want to go speak with Cruise Control again. He knows something about Ace. Didn't he say he was going to register for the race? You're right. We should start by going to where the starting line for the Equestria 500 will be. The sooner we get out of this forest, the better. There's the entrance. 
Hey, who's that? Some ponies by the entrance. <gasps> He's finally back! I thought you'd never come back and you'd be stuck in there forever or something. Your ghost won't come like, woo! Good voice. Pinky? <laughs> Guess I gotta keep waiting. What are you doing by the Everfree Forest, Pinky? Just waiting for my friend. Oh, it's a smile song. It's That's hers? Pinky, could you start making some sense, please? On the other hook, look who you're asking, Twilight. My golf club! I've been looking for it for days! I didn't recognize this song last time I saw this. Miserable looking stick is a golf club? Twilight, let me introduce you to my very first invention, the Pinky Iron Mark V! If it's your first invention, what happened to Mark 1 through 4? Yep, fine piece of work if I do say so myself. It's all burnt and the end is broken off. If it's really a golf club, you're right! If the so end is broken we'll off, maybe that thing was hey, the end. Did you break my golf club, Twilight? N no! I found it in the lake at the park. I don't even play golf. That's weird because I lost the pinky iron in the forest a week ago. I wonder how it got in the lake. What? Seven days ago, I was golfing in the forest when I lost a grip of the handle while I was giving her a swing and it went flying. Whoosh! Just like a bird! Why do you <laughs> go golfing in the forest? all those trees around, wouldn't it be a little counterproductive? Yeah, I wanted a challenge. So you lost his golf club a week ago. That's really strange. How did it get in the lake, and why is it so busted up? Why would any pony break my poor little golf club? I didn't do anything to any pony. This is awfully suspicious. Pinky, since it's broken, may I keep it? I guess so. I'm already making mental blueprints for the Pinky Iron Mark 7. Whatever goes on <laughs> in that head of hers, <laughs> I'm about I'm six. you've been waiting for your friend. It's not very smart going in the upper three forest alone. Trust me, I ended up turning into a life-size lawn ornament the last time I went in there by myself. He said he wanted to meet some pony in there. What? And who's what this that? friend you're waiting for anyway? He's- <laughs> oh. ah, Watch where you're going! I'm, I'm sorry! Me. Cruise control? Was this who Pinkie Pie was waiting for? Hi again, Twilight Sparkle! Why did you smash into her, you idiot? She's right! Watch where you're going! You dropped all your things. I'll help you pick them up. Thank you. Uh, no! You should be a responsible adult and take responsibility for your actions! Not force a little filly to pick up your things! I really don't want to deal with this again. But I guess now is a better time than any if I want answers. Um, I'll help too. Besides, I wanted to talk to you about a few things, Cruz. I can't. I'm in a big hurry. What were you doing in the Everfree Forest, anyway? Wow! That stuff you've got looks a lot like the stuff look, I found with Phoebe today! Like the top of the paper, of the, the of the unicorn book, oh, and a list with Rainbow Dash on it! Ooh, I was what? just... I felt like taking a stroll. See, now I want to see Phoenix's side easy, of this. You know? I seriously forgot all this. Can you please give me my stuff back? This. Please? Huh? What's the matter, Twa? Pinky, is your friend's name... Phoenix? Yep, yep. I just call him Feeny, though. Wow, Twilight, how did you know? You must be psychic like that pony Feeny I met earlier! Cruz, if you have all his stuff, that means... I mean, Please! I had to! <gasps> what did you do? What did you do to him? Please, Twilight, just give that stuff back to me! Applebloom, go to Fluttershy's cottage and get one of the police there. No! Please! Alright! Don't even think about running away. There are two of us and only one of you. Oh, and look, there's Rarity's paper thing! You really do have a lot of similar things. Pinky, for goodness sake! Oh, yeah, right! Don't even think about moving, bucko! Please, I don't want to go to jail. What did he do? He stole I Phoenix's so, stuff. With both mine and Pinky's testimony, they arrested Cruise Control on the spot and gave oh me all gosh. the stolen items. But it wasn't over yet. I had to go find out what cruise control had done to him. Pinky, I want you to take Apple Bloom back home. It's not safe out here. Okie dokie dokie! Okie dokie dokie! Your sister is looking for you, kiddo! Oh no! She's gonna give me trouble for running off! What are you going to do, Twilight? Okie dokie dokie! I have to go into the forest and find out what Cruz did to Phoenix. Oh! When you see him, tell him I had a blast with him today! We should do it more often! That's if I find him. This is my fault for Good voice for Pinky. This him. is very well made.
no sign of him anywhere. Oh, I pray to Celestia he isn't- Oh, look at him! Fluttershy? Phoenix? What? But, but how did she get out? And what's she doing with him? Uh, yeah, how did she get out? Hey, yeah. Uh, look, I know you really must not like me after what I did today, but I can explain. Mr. Phoenix she should have explained earlier. Twilight. He never meant to hurt anyone. Let's go back to the library. I don't think it's a good idea to stay in this forest. Yeah, I agree. Wow! So that's why I did that. I know it wasn't fair to Fluttershy. But if I had just sat there and done nothing, Rainbow Dash would have been found guilty right there on the spot. I see. Do you still want to fire me? How did you- Fluttershy told me. Look, I don't mind if you do. But I have to warn you, Trixie's one tough customer. I underestimated her. Despite all my experience, she managed to trump everything I threw at her. In fact, she could have easily overruled my feather theory. Since it was all just theory. What? I have a feeling the only reason she let me do that was to see another one of your friends in jail. She's gonna go all out tomorrow, so if you'd like to take over, I have to warn you about that. I don't know what I should do. If you really want to defend Rainbow Dash, at least allow me to do one more thing for you. You still want to help? Even though I was going to fire you? I'll do all I can to help someone who's being accused of a crime they didn't commit. I know for a fact Rainbow Dash didn't do anything wrong. And I know a certain pony who knows more than she's letting on. Actually, I do too. Phoenix, Bruce, control. tell me. That thing you mixed in the evidence earlier, that wasn't a good luck charm, was it? Why do you ask? Let's just say I've been seeing a lot of locks today. <laughs> locks and... Ugh, chains? See, I knew you knew! What was that thing and what did it do to me? Uh, okay, I'll be honest. Because if I don't, I bet you'll see them around me. I'm listening. You see, it's called a Magatama. A it's Magatama, not the to Magatama. See if people are hiding deep secrets from me. But don't get me wrong, I only use it when I'm investigating crimes. Deep secrets? If someone's keeping a deep secret, psychic barriers called psych locks will appear. The more locks, the deeper the secret. If you break those locks using proof and evidence, chances are the person, or in this case, the pony, will spill the beans. Interesting. This is amazing! <laughs> Here he said that there was no magic in his world! This thing's power can really help me in collective surveys! It needs more research done on it, though. What about black ones? Black ones? What do you mean? There were... No, I shouldn't tell him about Trixie. I want to be the one to deal with that problem. Never mind. So, do you so know he doesn't know about black blocks? Not a clue. It probably had something to do with the way it reacted when you picked it up. Hmm. Well, I'm sure I can fix it, but I need it right now. But, since I told the truth, I expect the same from you. What? You're not a very good liar, Twilight. I could clearly see that you bringing me here was no accident. You did it on purpose, didn't you? See, I knew it. He knows! I promised the princess! But I do owe him an explanation after what happened today. I'm that bad at lying, huh? Yes, you are, yeah, Twilight. you're about as thin as Kleenex. I mean, identification spell? I know you have magic here and all, but that sounds like something a third grader came up with. I know that isn't a real spell. Okay, so I'm bad at improvising. Yes, you are. I was told not to say anything. But identification but spell, that I sounds suppose I owe you convincible. An convincing. Princess Celestia Sorry. herself told me to summon you and play dumb. So you knowing my name and having that badge prepared... See? I knew it. She did all that. I didn't know you were going to be from another world, though. But how does she know me? Not I'm a clue. sketchy on that detail as well. I too found it really odd how she knew so much about you and how she was boasting about how good you were, yet you acted as if you had never met a pony in your life before me. Well, I certainly don't like the fact I was being deceived by you, but I thank you for telling me the truth. I apologize. I was only doing what the princess told me to do. Now all of a sudden I feel really bad for lying. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So this evidence you found, seems you had a good turnout. Uh. That's the other piece of the paper. What's the matter? The other half of the letter! The other half of the letter? 
Wait, you have it? Yeah, I found it with Pinkie Pie today. This is my letter stating my permanent leave of absence. After the Equestria 500 is over, I can no longer work with you. We made quite the team, but I can't live with the guilt any longer. I can't keep helping you ruin others' lives. It saddens me beyond belief that we must part ways, but I must say farewell. Goodbye, Ace. May our paths cross in the future. So Ace has been ruining other ponies' Someone lives. Their job? Yeah, and, and I so think I know who. someone quit. Who? I'll tell you once I confirm my suspicion. You said you had someone you wanted to talk to, right? Ooh, I like that song. Perhaps we should go our separate ways again. You're right. Come back here once you're done, though. You were attacked, after all. You have my word. Spike? Yes, sir! Ma'am! Sir, sir ma'am! <laughs> Did you send out that appeal for me to take over yet? Oh, right! It's all done, but I haven't sent it yet. Do you want me to send it out now? No, put it on hold. I'll tell you whether to send it or not when I get back. But why? I just want to do something. All right, Twilight. By the way... No, Sapphire. Yes. Ahem. Sapphire, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot to stop by Rarity's place and get one for him. <laughs> uh, you know what? I got something even better than a silly old sapphire. Uh-oh. Better than a sapphire? R Ruby? Or emerald? Nope. It's a muffin. No. Get ready. My body's ready. Ta-da! It's this lawyer book! It was a really good read. So I'm passing this great piece of literature on to you, Spike. The only thing better than food is food for the mind, right? You forgot, <laughs> didn't you? Uh, gotta run, Spike. <laughs> Enjoy the book. I could see Twilight doing that. So the how... How did Fluttershy get out anyway? Why did he drop out of the race? Why did he want to re-enter? Why did he attack Phoenix? All very valid all questions. Right now. Talk to him. There he Why is. Why did you attack Rainbow Dash's lawyer? Uh, I'm sorry. Am I sounding too mean? He looks so sad. I can't let that distract me, though. I'll try to get him to talk about the secret I know he's hiding. Cruz, tell me, do you have something against Ace Swift? Take that! <laughs> What's that? These are those psycho locks. Psycho locks? I have to know. Do I look like I'm in the mood to talk about him right now? No, but mentioning him broke your silence. <sighs> I'm going to get this out of you one way or another. I told you already. I have nothing against him. Well, I think you do. Tell me then, Twilight Sparkle, why would I have something against him? So what if he beats me every time? Every pony does that every year anyway. I'd hold resentment towards every single racer in the Equestrian 500 if that were the case. You're right. It has nothing to do with the race. It stems from something much deeper than that, doesn't it? The reason you don't like Ace is because of... Take that! Resistant. This. W where H How did you get that? A friend of yours gave it to me. She told me all about your sister. I also noticed how your personality completely changed when Apple Bloom brought up her elder sister earlier today. She grounds me and makes me do a bunch of lame chores. It's like she doesn't care about me at all. Don't say that. Older siblings always care for the well-being of their younger brothers and sisters. I have a feeling this all relates to her. Yeah. Good job. Phoenix was right. One of the locks broke. This is so exciting. The possibilities with this thing's power are endless. Maybe I could use it to... <laughs> Gotta focus on breaking the other two. So, what is it about her? I don't know. You tell me. Well, I heard she isn't in a great condition right now. She's in a hospital right now in a coma, right? I don't want to talk about this anymore. But she is in a hospital in Canterlot, according to your friend Lenora. So, so what? Cruz... I used to live in Canterlot. The hospital there is among the best there is, but it's specifically reserved for celebrities and nobles. Commoners and non-citizens are stuck with normal clinics, and you and your sister are from Manhattan. 
You somehow snuck your sister into there to get the best treatment. It's the only hospital out there that can keep her condition stable. I think I know how you got her in there. Well, I want to know. You had help from this pony. Take that! The late Ace Swift. What are you trying to pull here? First you say I hate him, then you say I got help from him? He's both a citizen and a celebrity. I think he pulled strings for you to get your sister in that hospital. And why would you hate him for that? I... Oh, well, it's true. One left. If I can break this one, I'll finally get the truth. No! You still didn't answer me! Why would I hate him? In fact, I should be in his eternal debt from what you're telling me here. I'm beginning to understand why you resent him so much. Really? really? Because you're telling me the complete opposite. Yeah, I tell me. it's not that you don't want to tell me, it's that you can't tell me, right? You're making less and less sense with each word you speak. I think I have all the puzzle pieces put in place now. Take that! This program here. That's for the Equestrian 500. Care to look at slot number three? According to someone I spoke with, you arrived in Ponyville a couple days ago. Not this morning. Okay. So I lied about when I got here. What's the big deal? I was told you signed up for the race when you arrived, but then mysteriously dropped out shortly afterwards. But then right after Ace Swift's death, you were on your way to re-enter. It was because of him, wasn't it? He was threatening to take your sister out of that hospital if you didn't <gasps> drop out. Yeah, that's true. Right? Perhaps I need to push a little harder. I know now, Cruz, why you lose all the time. Why Lenora got angry when I brought up Ace. Why he was carrying embarrassing pictures of my friend. What did you do? Why was he doing that? It's all a big conspiracy, isn't it? The secret to Ace Swift's success wasn't that he was so good. He was blackmailing all the tough competition, um... wasn't he? So Rainbow Dash went to go get her pictures back so that she could go and win. Out by yourself. I did it! I broke all the cycle locks! I'm sorry I couldn't just tell you straight out. It's okay. I understand. Would you be willing to share a bit more information with me? I don't know what to tell you. Everything you said was correct. If he was doing this to you, why participate in the race every year? Because he was forcing me to do that as well. If you want to look like the world's best athlete, you need competition. He forces the best of us to attend just so we can lose to him. Lenora and the others who have fallen victim to him sort of just treat second place like first. Why did you drop out then? Because of last year. Last year? I was losing just as he wanted me to. Then I accidentally flew headlong into a tornado that appeared in the middle of the flying route, and I blacked out. When I came to, I had noticed I'd been thrown way off the track. I flew as fast as I could to get back on the racetrack. When I saw the checkered flag up ahead, I thought the tornado sent me so far off course that the race was already long over. I needed some medical assistance from getting roughed up a bit by the tornado, so I used every drop of adrenaline to take me to the finish line. I finally made it back to the course, but right as I was about to cross, I heard something behind me and noticed the other racers with Ace ahead of the pack. Then I remembered his deal. So we thought you were trying to win. Yes, but I immediately faked a cramp before crossing the finish line and let him win as he had told me. I suppose he didn't want to take the risk of losing to me, so he made me drop out completely this year. He did it to your friend for the same reason. Rainbow Dash? Yeah, her. She was targeted by him for the performance she gave at the Cloudsdale Young Flyer competition. Uh huh, so I remember he didn't that. Want some pony who performed a stunt like she did competing against him. Exactly, the Sonic Rainbow. Because I was sick of it. I wanted to expose him as the cheater he really was. It's wrong. He would have had my sister taken out of that hospital. Do you understand why I'm glad he's dead now? I can't say he deserved to die, but what he was doing was definitely wrong. I snuck into his hotel room and found a slip of paper saying he was meeting Rainbow Dash in the forest at 8.35 that night. No doubt so, negotiating one of his deals in private, like he did with the rest of so us. So Rainbow Dash was the victim. Was in there that night. I waited near the entrance to the forest and took this picture. You didn't really get his face, but... That's the lightning-proof suit. I'm not really a good photographer, and I didn't want him to catch me. Why did you take a picture of him anyway? I took it because, like I said, I wanted to get him caught for what he was doing. It would just be another rumor unless he was caught in the act. I brought it to the police as an anonymous tip. That was they him! They didn't do anything. They didn't listen to me. So Cruz was the anonymous tip Trixie spoke of. Um, uh, I think I know why they didn't listen to you. Were you in that other persona? You know, the one you were in when you met me today? Um, 
Yeah, I was. That's the reason. Oh. But how has he gotten away with this for such a long That's time? That's why they didn't take him Someone seriously. Someone must have told the police about this blackmail business. He knew exactly how to keep us all quiet, like he's always watching us. He knows how to put us in positions where we can't refuse his demands. And because he helped your sister, you couldn't do anything? Yeah. In a way, I'm thankful for that, but... but... You don't know what it's like. He held me to it, making me his slave. I have to comply with his every word, otherwise he said he'd have her taken out of there. I've yearned to have a true race in the Equestrian 500. None of this second place is first garbage. Racing is what I live for, but I'm held down because of what Ace is doing. If you haven't heard, I actually used to do really well in the races before I was hindered by Ace. He really only entered the major athletic events. I had never even met him before my sister's accident. I don't blame myself for what happened to her. I don't blame any pony. It was an accident. Now I've just become a pathetic loser. I doubt she'd look up to me the same way if she could see me now. You're right. She wouldn't. I think she'd look up to you even more. <sighs> what? You're doing all this to give her the care she needs. It's showing self-sacrifice. You're holding back in something you love doing for her well-being. I think you're a good big brother. Thank you, Twilight. But it doesn't change anything. I hate Ace, and he deserved what he got. Just forget it. I told you everything you wanted to know. Not everything. Huh? Why did you attack Rainbow Dash's lawyer? Or Cyclops! Boom! Oh, there's a lot of them because this time. I had to. Otherwise, he'd find out. Does this mean... Does this mean Cruz did it? I... Did it? What? I... Cruz, did you do it? Did you kill Ace? Twilight, I... Visiting hours he are did. now over. I must ask all visitors to leave immediately. No, I, was gonna say I something. need to talk to him for a little bit longer. I'm not going to repeat myself. Please exit the detention center now. I was so close. <gasps> oh, ah! I think Ace. I think. I think Cruise Control did it. I don't know what to make of this. My best guess is after the police wouldn't help him, Cruise went to the crime scene and killed Ace out of desperation. Ace must have been blackmailing Lenora somehow. Maybe. Too. That's probably why she got her feathers all ruffled when I brought him up. Wait a minute. Feathers? She got brown it's hers! Feather. Well, that was pointless. Probably from a bird. No, 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 no. It can't be. No bird in Ponyville is this big. And neither yeah. is a pony, but a griffin. Did that feather have come from... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Twilight's a total nerd. I'll try. Excuse me? Oh, you're back, Twilight! I, um... Uh, I was just on my way to, um, organize those awesome books my intelligent and smart friend reads. Uh, later! Did you find out what you needed to know? Yes, I'll fill you in about it tomorrow. I have a good idea who's behind all this. Okay. Wait, so you're not firing me? I thought about it, and I realize now that you mean well. And if what you say is true, you stand a better chance against Trixie than I do. Please, just tell me when you're going to do something like you did today. Yeah, I will. I shouldn't need to do anything like that again. You should have told From her in the first out, place. I'll try to find out what really happened in that forest that night. Fluttershy forgave you, so I guess I can too. The princess also said I can trust you. I'll try. I guess she's out because no, they didn't I won't let you find a match time. to Thank the you. feather because that spare it belongs to Lenora. Place. Try to get lots of sleep this time. I'm pretty tired after all that's happened today. Investigating sure takes a lot out of you. Tell me about it. I think I'm going to bed early. All right. I'm probably going to crash soon as well. Good night. I know I'm not making the wrong decision here. I'll tell Phoenix about Cruz and Lenora in the morning. Uh-oh. I still can't get my mind off Trixie, though. Something's going to happen, and she's not going to tell me. And why do they feel like that? Perhaps I'll seek out the answer after this trial is over. Rainbow Dash's well-being takes top priority right now, and I found some suspects. It's just a matter of proving they did it. So they continued. 
no new silhouettes, which means the silhouettes of last time, we already met them all. Looking back, I know who they are. They are Cruise Control and the Griffin. Okay, let's look at the uh, the derpy. Oh, there's music. Derpy hooves. A bald boring. That doesn't sound familiar. Hmm. I'll have to look bald and boring up later. Yeah, anyway, those silhouettes. One of them is Lenora, one of them is, um, Cruise Control, and the other one just looks like a pony, so, I don't know. Well, I wish these credits could go faster. Oh, a lot of people worked on this. Mia Artemis is the creator of, of this, even though the, uh, the username on YouTube is P-W-A-A-N-L-P-F-I-N. Channel dedicated solely to turn about storm. And you, thanks to you. Okay. Sounded like therapy to me. Alright. That was great. It was very long. 
An hour and 36 minutes. That's as long as a movie. So, wow. A lot of stuff happened here. We know Fluttershy is innocent because the feather belongs to Lenora. Also, the reason she didn't see Apple Bloom is because Apple Bloom, I believe, was teleported outside of the forest by whoever or whatever she ran into. There is no second bolt of lightning. But now we got some new characters. Specifically, Cruise Control. Wow. He sure revealed a lot of stuff. Oh, before we get to him, the Pinky Iron Mark V. It's all burnt. Same as that piece of metal. And they were both found lying near the scene of the crime, near the body. Actually, the pinky iron was not found there, but there was an impression in the ground of something long, which would be the pinky Mark V. I mean, the, the pinky iron Mark V. And that metal thing is the club end of it that broke off. What this has to do with the murder, I don't know. But it has something to do with the spot on the ground being all burnt up. Because it's all burnt as well. Maybe it was just sitting there when Ace got hit with lightning. So, Ace Swift was blackmailing every pony racing him. It was blackmailing cruise control. It was blackmailing Rainbow Dash. And he was most likely also blackmailing Lenora, but I don't know the specifics on that. That explains those pictures of her, of, of Rainbow Dash. That was the blackmail. And cruise control was going to meet Rainbow Dash in the forest regarding the blackmail. And therefore, Rainbow Dash didn't want anybody to see her going into the forest. Excuse me. I should have said any pony right there. Anyway, what I want to know is what is up with the cloud that she brought in? Was she planning to kill him? What was that all about? But cruise control. A Swift was blackmailing him the worst. Cruz Control's little sister is in the hospital in Canterlot, in a deep coma, very serious condition. And if she gets moved anywhere else, she's going to die. Now, Ace Swift put her in the hospital on one condition. That Cruise Control would lose every race. But in the last race, he was caught in a tornado and flung towards the finish line. When he got to the finish line, he thought that he was going to lose. So he raced towards it as fast as he could because he needed medical attention. But it turns out he was actually in the lead and he didn't know it. But when he heard, looked back, he saw A. Swift in the lead. So he faked a cramp. He almost won, though. I guess uh, Ace got a little scared. Maybe he'll try to beat me this time, he was thinking. So he forced cruise control to leave the race. Once Ace Swift is dead, cruise control came to enter back into the race. With Ace Swift dead, I don't know what's going to happen to his sister. Anyway, who killed him? It wasn't Rainbow Dash. But it seen, all the evidence seems to be pointing that Rainbow Dash did intend to do it because she brought the cloud in there. Ace, on the other hand, when Twilight asked about why he attacked Phoenix, that's another thing I want to know. Why did he attack Phoenix and steal all his stuff? He was stealing the evidence. Why? Because maybe the evidence points to himself. Twilight Sparkle figured the same thing. I don't know why, but the Cyclops disappeared on their own without breaking. But then Twilight Sparkle asked him, 
Cruise Control. Did you do it? Did you kill Ace Swift? And he was acting very nervous. And he was like, Twilight, I... But then the time was cut short, and the guard came in, saying that the visiting times are over. I think... I think Cruise Control did it. I can barely remember what happens next. I have no clue. Well, I have a little bit of a clue. I don't, I don't remember any of the important details. I remember things, where they went, who they talked to, but I don't remember what they said. It's been a long time. It's been months. It's been... It's been almost a year, I think. Yeah. It must have been almost a year, because this is the thing that pushed me over the edge. That brought me into the herd. This is what made me become a brony. And that was in February of last year. So yeah, pretty much a whole year ago. I haven't seen this in a long time. Plus it's very confusing. So there's no way I could remember all the details. But yeah, I think Cruise Control did it. What I want to know is what Rainbow had to do with that cloud. I'm eager to find out who Phoenix talked to and what he was talking about. He said he had a good idea he did it too. He might be talking about cruise control. Why else would someone come attack you and take your evidence when you're the defense attorney? Right? Trixie. Trixie's now trying to figure out who killed A. Swift. Trixie's just trying to get Twilight Sparkle's friends in jail. Actually, she's trying to get one of Twilight's friends to be shot into the sun. Which brings up the last question. All those Cyclops around Trixie. Black ones too at that. What do they mean? Apparently, Phoenix has never seen black Cyclops before. And all that sorrow and anger that Twilight felt. She knows that there's something very much, much deeper than the Ursa Minor incident. Why? Why does Trixie hate Twilight so much? That she wants to send one of her friends to the sun. Big mystery. Probably the biggest mystery of the whole game because it does not seem to be related to the crime. We might figure it out. Or we might not. I don't know. Probably. But man, this is such a great series. All the voice actors did a great job. Stupendous job. Pinky's actor was spot on. So was Spikes. Tracy's and Twilight's are very good as well. And Fluttershy, yeah. Great, great job. Spot on. Derpy? Oh, I love that voice. That's the voice I know and love, Derpy. I am eager to watch the other side of part three, Phoenix's side, because I don't remember. We'll see next time. All right. See you later. Brony Descend, signing off.